Hey man, what's up? It's Robbie. Um, I wanted to say something about somebody who's actually quite popular who said something really crazy and um, I'm just going to make a short video. I'm not going to take a long time. You already heard me about my opinion about the Mandela effect. I call it the satanic effect. I know it's a quantum computer thing, whatever. Um, it's, it's satanic. It's horrible. Um, for this I agree. But uh, I was looking to see what does people who are already pretty, you know, established on YouTube and whatnot, what did they have to say about the Mandela effect? It's pretty weird how it's like people get more popular and then they get to be like they don't want to, they don't want to take the the the, the, the 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 tough news. It sounds like I don't know, because I have never heard anybody debunk the Mandela effect in a legitimate way at all. No one ever answers the questions. How is it possible that so many people? No, they have seen certain things and by the by the tens and hundreds even by now that there's things that has changed that we all know the truth about so um, this is somebody I don't really like to pick on because I actually have learned a lot from him um, when it comes to the King James Bible which I really really respect that um, but when you're I guess when he, people who are Baptists we have a lot of different opinions about stuff when it comes down to certain points and it's kind of interesting how when it comes to super spiritual things like this, they, they just close up, they don't want to deal with it, and it's Baptist folks like this, or independent fundamentalist Baptists, or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I mentioned it before because I showed you that King James sticker I made, and I was in, I had that sticker with my group in um, his video a long time ago, back in the 400 year anniversary of the King James Bible on his page. But this is what the scripture that he quoted when he's rebuking anybody who believes in the Mandela effect. He says, we're all going to burn in hell. And he says, and he says, this is the scripture he quoted. We're going to overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of God. And I'm like, bro, you know the Bible far better than I do. That's for sure. He's a way more educated guy. But look at how it, look at this scripture right here. It says, by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. It was about them. The thing that they overcame the devil with was their testimony. This is what I've been saying all along. The, the testimony is about how did you pass from death into life. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits and make sure that they really are of God. Because the Bible can be tampered with. It is being tampered with, and we are seeing the changes, and no one has been able to debunk them. The word stuff, the word piss, the word matrix, um, the, the list just keeps going and going. It's things we know was not in the Bible. I've never heard anybody say that in the history of all my church life. I'm 43. I've been in church most all my life, and I've never heard those words. And, and, if, and if it did, I'd be like, that's kind of weird. As a kid, I would have been able to say that sounded kind of weird for a church to be talking about stuff. You know, as a kid, you kind of just know. You, you have a lot of respect for the church and the Bible and um, you whatever. You, you just know some things, okay? And, you, and it's a mocked thing. And it's like, I always see people who are different. It's like, it's just a matter of time before you start to say, you know what? I don't think we're talking exactly the same, you know? I love the King James Bible. And I think it's got, I mean, it's it's hit a little bit right now where we could still read it a lot and, and receive from it. And in our own discernment, we should know better. But I'm just saying that brother brother from, you know, King James got one of the one of the top King James guy on the web right now is talking like he can't see two plus two equaling four. I'm like, if you know the book said one thing. So here's my thing. Folks who come against it, they don't answer the questions. It, it's always blanket statements. It's never exact stuff. It's never solid. And we're not going to overcome with the word of God. Jesus is going to come back on the on on a white horse called the word named the word of God with his sword in his mouth and destroy his enemies. I mean, Jesus is going to overcome with his word. The word is going to abide forever, but this word is not on paper. Okay, the word is something that is beyond the capabilities of man. The communists aren't going to be able to touch it. It says that Christ is made far above all principalities, might, and um, power. Let's see, principalities, power, might, and dominion. Christ has been made above all that stuff. And so all these people who are trying to stop him, which is satanic CERN, they're trying to stop the word of God, they're going to mix it up. This is something that's going on. It's just plain and simple right in our faces. How we don't see it is beyond me. Okay? It's not fun. I don't want to rebuke this person, but I've heard him say a lot of strange things in the last few years. I've kind of got, um, not. I love him, 
God bored you. Listen to him say the Jesuits this, the Bible this, this is the true Bible, the new ones, we know that. Like, thank you, I've heard it. I believe it already. What are we going to do with the book now? Follow the God of the book. Have a testimony. You know, what is the testimony where the power of God came and raised you from death and into the life of Christ? That's what the Bible says we're supposed to. We're supposed to be new creatures in Christ Jesus. And um, we don't get to pick what kind of battles we go through. We, we take what we get and we, we handle what comes up. Faith in the Bible, all the faith in the faith chapter, everybody's situation was different. They all heard from God different and they obeyed what God said and the power of God came down in different ways. Not everybody walks around Jericho. Not everybody builds arcs. Because by faith, they all did what God told them to do. And you don't go swinging swords at nothing in, in, in the air and saying, hey, I'm going to kill the devil. You, you handle whatever comes your way. You blow the trumpet in Tekoa or you blow the trumpet in Zion and say, hey, looks like a battle's coming on. And they would blow it and say, I don't, oh, which, which, which team is coming against us today? And how are they coming against us? Are they using maces or are they using swords and horses and shields or what are they doing exactly? You just handle whatever comes your way and we don't get to pick what battles we face, okay? Um, us playing games like this is why we got ourselves in the, in, this, in the mess in the first place is what I think. So, no, it's not okay to act like you can't see it. And if you can, if you really think you have answers, you've got a lot of answering to do for anybody who denies this phenomenon happening the satanic effect is happening it's in effect it's not fun i'm praying against the cern i'm praying against it but my point here is to say another famous person acting like they can't see it and then the rebuking people extremely strongly at the end of this video sarcasm and talking about things that got nothing to do with the subject and wasting all this time building another straw man when the, when there are issues there are facts and they're not being addressed okay address the answers and know that you're actually answering them there's no way you can answer them you can't answer them there's just way too much evidence against okay so folks i'm telling you we got to know god for ourselves that's the battle for our soul okay to to lock away my house shall be called a house of prayer not people who defend letters and books that can be changed the Word of God is beyond pages. The Word of God is beyond pages. Being born again is not being a born again of letters and books. If the book's pages are changing, then obviously it's not, it's not right. Okay, I'm not trying to put doubt in your mind about the Word of God. You know God. You are His child. You know when the Bible is changing, something doesn't sound right. This is just the beginning warning signals to keep watch. Don't act like you can't see it. Don't listen to people tell you that you're going to go to hell for believing it. You're going to overcome the devil in the last days by the blood of Jesus Christ, his forgiveness and redemption. You're justified by his death and you're, you're raised by his life. Amen. And you're going to be by the testimony, your new life that Christ gave you. You're raised in the newness of life to be seated in high places with Christ. My house shall be called a house of prayer. You know him. This is eternal life that you may know him. Okay. So don't change this verse to match whatever. You should know this better than anybody, bro. I love you, and I, I don't like making this video, but you've been saying some things a lot that is just not right, and if, if we need to talk about that, then, then maybe I'll, then we can. You know, I'll just talk. The dispensational stuff, it really doesn't add up. And my hero, Paris Reedhead, which I named my video page after, he's, he, he's, he was one of those, and he had to leave it because he found the truth. Hudson Taylor and all kinds of other giants that actually found this powerful path. It's something that we need to find, this powerful path. The Bible says, narrow is the way that leadeth to life, and few are them that find it. And just because you are a group of a few doesn't mean you found it. you got to have a testimony that will cause you to overcome. This is how we overcome, even by our faith. Everything born of the Father will overcome, it says in the Scripture. So we know what the book says. We know the book well enough. Stay around people who know the word and people who have a testimony, if that's what it's going to take. The forgiveness of Jesus, the redemption of the blood of Jesus Christ, and the word of their testimony of this is how it happened for me. This is what I saw. This is what God did in my life. And nobody can argue with it because that's what's going on. Amen. I love everybody. Sorry for making waves again, but truthfully, sarcasm is not going to answer. Okay, That's what, that's what atheists use. Sarcasm and intimidation. But truth doesn't have to hide okay we just tell the truth I see it 
and I believe it, okay? I see the radical change God did in my heart. I used to love sin, and now I fear it. I used to ignore God, now I fear Him, and I'm glad to obey Him because I tremble at Him and His powerful word. Okay, if the devil wants to mess with it, I see what he's trying to do so far. So he has crossed the line because he's touching the word of God, but he hasn't crossed the fundamental line as far as I can see right now. Forgive me if I mess it, but today as I see the word of God and all the errors that people are finding, so far it doesn't sound like they've crossed the line into definite um, fundamental error. Okay, now if there's any gray area on that, I can see what you mean by a couple of the scriptures that we, we've found about, you know, two men in a bed or whatever, whatever. And just, you get my point right now, the Bible, we're seeing the warning things happening. So we still got our Bible. I'm glad we're still looking at it. Keep talking about it. Um, stay in love with God and do whatever you got to do um, to, to get the word out because this is where we're at right now. You know, Psalms was written in a time of war. It was written different. And then, and then uh, the Proverbs was written in a time of peace, and it was different. They're all in the poetry books, but they're different because, you know, and, and, and the Song of Solomon, it was written as a love book. They're all in the same section, but they're all very radically different. All the poetry books are different. Everything's different. It's, it's organic. You're dealing with things as they come. It's just, you know, what's the context? Right now we're under attack, and it's not okay for us to ignore it. So... I'm not okay with people acting like they can't see it, okay? And, I, and I'm not going to be as harsh uh, against this this one as I was before because this one I actually like a lot more. But when you're going to cross the line and start talking like you don't have any, you know, you're, you're going to be accountable for your words. Every idle word men shall speak, they shall give it an account in the day of judgment. That should make us tremble not to be talking down to other brothers and sisters who who, can, who have eyes to see. They can see it. Nothing can stop the word that the Lord has sent. He says that in Isaiah 55, says that um, it, his word that he has sent forth will accomplish that which it's been sent for, uh, ultimately, and it will not return void. Okay? God spoke what he means to happen, and what he says is going to happen is going to happen. That's the proper context of that thing. doesn't mean everybody with a Bible in their hand is going to is gonna not return void. I mean... Tell, I, have you not talked to the JWs? I've talked to them. They return a lot of void. They're really awkward to talk to. You're like, how did you get that from the word? How did you get that from the word? They got the wrong Bible. But besides that, I mean, even with the right word, they couldn't get it right. And neither could anybody who's not born again. And if you're not born again, you're going to come up with all kinds of reasons to latch on to the book because that's all you got. But the book is going to pass. Heaven and earth will pass, but my word will never pass. Okay? Heaven, if heaven and earth is going to be gone, where's the Bible going to be sitting at? Okay, the Bible is not natural. It's supernatural. We need to be born again of the supernatural word. And Peter it says that. It says, we are born again, not of corruptible, but of incorruptible seed by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Amen. So it's not natural. It's supernatural. The birthing is a supernatural birth. Everybody's born of the water. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to the spirit. And that's how we know we are born again. Amen. So, uh, love you. Everybody, um, don't listen to people coming against the Mandela effect. It's satanic. I can't explain it. It's got some type of a time travel thing in there. It's got some type of a CERN thing, a computer thing, quantum thing, whatever the thing is. Bless the Lord, all my soul. The devil will get his rump roasted in the end, okay? Don't listen to anybody tell you what you know you can see. You keep your childlike faith because without that, you're not going, okay? That's what the Bible actually says. If you don't come as a child, you're not going to the kingdom of God. And a child doesn't listen to every Tom, Dick, and Harry on the on the internet who's got a King James Bible or whatever they do, and they sound like they got authority. I don't care. Okay, the Word of God is true, and those that know the Lord, they they are living to get near Him. They weep over their sin. They care about their heart being pure before Him. They're not doing things for the sight of man. They're not being Pharisees like the Matthew twenty three said. They, everything they did was all for the sight of man. They do it because they love God. They fear Him. They want to please Him. All for the praise of the glory of Jesus Christ. All for the glory of Christ. They live and abide and have their being in a living Christ. They want to live to grow and learn His ways. To, to reshape their life. To fit His will. And to walk in the ways that God has. It's a walk and it's a run. Amen. So let's stand together. Um, don't listen to anybody who tell you that if you can't that you that you're crazy. You're not crazy. You're smart enough to know how to do this on your own. You and the Lord can take this on. Band together with people you know is telling the truth. Don't let people that can't even answer the questions. If they, anybody who says this Mandela is not true, answer the thousand questions that you're going to have to figure out. Answer all of them. 
answer even half of them, answer even a quarter of them. You couldn't answer one because you, there's no answer. It's just plain facts. Anyways, love you. Um, said enough. May the Lord bless you. Um, stay strong. Keep reading the Bible. Keep read, Stay in the Word. Believe the Word. And you'll know when something doesn't sound right. If it says matrix, it used to say um, the bowels or something like that. Um, that one sounds scriptural. I've heard the word bowels is in the Bible a lot. We're talking about the belly. The spirit man is the belly. Amen. The, the Bible says that the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching out the inward parts of the belly. So it's the belly. Out of the belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. The peace that passes all understanding. And uh, God is the Jesus is the Jesus of the sword. He's come to chop us off of what we used to think and what we used to be and give us a new life in Christ. Amen. I love you. All right. Say goodbye. Thank you.